Welcome to My Angels, New and Returning. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Malika, but it means my angel, and I'm finally knowing how to love life again. I'm here on these YouTube streets trying to get a better me or better at my life and bringing you along with me. I love to do plan with me's to keep me organized, <laughs> to do budget with me's to take that journey to financial freedom. And I love unboxing my happy mail. And today I'm here on that financial journey, trying to get myself organized and doing my paycheck budget. Now, yes, back in the day, they used to always say paycheck by paycheck is not the way to go. But after doing a lot of research this past last couple of years and kind of realizing my way doesn't work, I decided I'm going to try somewhat the Dave Ramsey um, budget mom type of budgeting, but I would say kind of with my own taste that can work for me because everybody's budget is different. And so not what worked for one person may not work for the other, but a combination or variation of it can work. And so far um, we are in June now at the last month of the um, last month of the second quarter. We're at we're at the end of the second half of the year. I mean, the first half of the year, excuse me. And it seems to be kind of working, but I'm not as disciplined as I should be. So it's moving a little slow. So if you would love to um, see me do my paycheck budget, stay tuned. Okay, so this is my paycheck budget. As you know, I did my monthly budget with you guys last week. Um, and I think I said my husband and I get paid pretty much the same week, just different days. Um, normally the same week, just different days. And so we, I kind of pick like the day in between. I don't use my money. I budget based on his pay, payday instead of my payday, since it's only like a three day difference between the, between the two. And depending on the weekends, it can be two days. Sometimes it can be one day. It all depends on how the dates fall. So we are here now to budget for the first paycheck of June. And I think this may only be my first or second time doing this on camera. I don't even know if I've done this on camera. I've done my cash envelope stuffings, my saving challenges, my monthly budget, but I don't think I've done a paycheck budget. So it's going to be similar to how I do my monthly budget. So I won't put the income in at this point. I'll do that later. I will put what I'm going to pay this, this pay period until the next. I'll show you guys what the balance is of what I have to pay out and then we'll move on. But I also want to show you and I'll probably do, do like a time lapse or whatever, but um, we'll do the paycheck budget, cash envelopes. We don't do expense tracker, so I might put this to the side. And also we're going to put in our weekly budget of what we I mean, our weekly pay for this week as well. So I think I want to start with the weekly pay and then we're going to move on to the next. So I need to put down. I thought I put some. Date dots. Okay, so put some date dots down in here. Let's find my tweezers. And the beginning of this week.
make a new sticker. So this is my weekly. And I put this in here when I'm finished. And then at the end of the Okay, I have no clue when my thing cut off. But I was saying how real quick I put out I have to make a new sticker. I'm missing Verizon. Um I was supposed to do this at the beginning of the week. I forgot. So I need to make sure that I write down I think I might know what they are, maybe not. But what I've been trying to do is make sure I write down at the beginning of each week what my balances are on each one of these. And then any notes that I have, and that's it. Usually I have a sticker here, but I haven't done a sticker. So I'm gonna actually close this and move this to the side. I don't know why I did it that way. Uh, okay, my, my thing is a little chunky. And so I'm gonna move this to the side for a second so that I can um, work on this. So we're going to work on this for a little bit. So this will be, I say June, I usually do it since the, 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 June 7th through the 10th, 2022. That's how I put it down. dollar you know goes to a place where we were just putting the savings kind of do that and I spoke real fast kind of do that but not too much um, I do try to make sure every dollar has its place even if it was it's going to be rolled over um, but which is what I normally do like I said this is actually my first time doing my paycheck budget with you guys I've only done it a couple of times like I said I just started doing this in January so I've only done it a couple of times but I have noticed that it does work when I do it because then I remember, first of all, I remember my bills. We ain't gonna go there, but I remember my bills. And so right now, you'll see, here's my expenses, which is groceries, gas, eating out, oops, and household. Now this, oh, wait a minute, I just remembered something. These two are connected, but we'll, so I gotta change that number because that number's not gonna be that. Matter of fact, let's do that right now. It's gonna take out 75. 25 40 so this, so this is actually $80 okay I just I totaled up my cash envelopes earlier today so that's why um, I know what it what what these are so my cash envelopes one is my mini savings my cash envelope two is my extended savings then I have savings challenges which I will put on my next paycheck budget but that will be cash envelope three and cash envelope four. So, so I have four cash envelopes right now. And as you'll see my videos, you'll notice that. So at this point right now, for my bills, it's $4,032. For my expenses, it's $780. Now, my expenses versus bills, because I know that question has been asked. Um, these are variables. Well, they say fixed and variable because, you know, WSSC, my water bill is not always the exact amount. Um, but this is a fixed bill. Um, series, they're all pretty much fixed bills, but they're my bills. And then you have my, um, sorry, my daughter just came in. Okay. So total bills, 4,032 total expenses, 780. Um, my mini savings will be 80. My debt repaid will be zero. I will do that the next pay. And then my savings is 93. Let's put all that together. Is it supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be 85. I put 80. Ugh, guys, I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get it together. 
I have, I'm looking at the calculator and this is 85. Okay, so plus 4032 plus 780. And honestly, the only reason why. And honestly, the next pay, the next pay is like I hardly have any bills. Um, I was going to say, oh, snap, I didn't mean to put that. I need to put it right here. Four, nine, nine, zero. Okay, so as I did in my monthly budget, if you go back, I'll, I think up there or down in the description, I total up everything. I don't have one like, because you know, I don't want to keep seeing the balance, which I could. I may do that later and change it because I actually originally when I first started doing budgeting, I had it where I was constantly using the balance, but I like looking at it this way. So I may end up adding it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I do sell these in my Etsy shop. They sell they go by a pack and they also go by the. Um, the theme. So if it's summer, like this is my summer pack and it's my cash envelopes, um, not cash. envelopes. <laughs> it's my budget, but it's the the color theme is from the summer sticker kit so I do that that I do I'm a matchy person so everything has to kind of match 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 work with this one work with that one if I'm going to look at my book and I see summer in my catch-all in my home planner then I want to see catch-all in my budget because it's all part of my home so it's kind of like that each actually each sticker book has a budget set that goes with it so you could actually if you do the download version you can actually download it for the whole month for the whole year the same color so you don't have to have um this group you don't have to change it every month like i do you can have your own one set of colors or you can have one set of colors of everything we, we do it that way as well so anyway back to the budget okay so now it's four thousand nine hundred ninety dollars so when i finish this i take the cash envelopes and my expenses because the expenses is part of my cash envelope but it's a little weird i kind of separate it because i liked eating out needs to be here i need to see physically see my eating out my oops and my household those bills but after i finish that then i go to my cash envelopes and we're going to do this one so i probably will speed up on this as well date will be so this won't be done until my husband gets paid on the 10th so this is the 10th and then our categories so we're gonna I'm not even gonna fast forward I'm just gonna hold on a second okay so I'm back and it makes sense to videotape and, and fast forward you might as well just stop and bring it back so before I continue I just wanted to show you remember I said I have four um, sorry four binders so what I do is I have a back and a front. I'd rather do it this way. Um, just It's just me personally. So this is my mini savings. This is my extended savings. So I'm going to go ahead and um, fill out the rest of the part and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm finished. Finish it. Let me kind of go over this and then we will close out the video. So I've broken down my my envelopes the 85 the 93 plus the eating out oops in household i've broken all those out and i put them within my two binders they're my um my mini savings binder and my extended savings binder so i've broken them out now i kind of i redid this and made a new version of this but somehow i printed the old version it's okay because i don't even know why i have a hundred but <laughs> i like to use two two dollar bills because if i have a two dollar bill i I'm really reluctant to spend it. So the more $2 bills I have in my thing, I won't, is more than more, I will save it instead of spending it. So I like to use $2 bills. So one, two, five, 10, 20, and 50s. So, and I really don't go higher than 50. Every now and then I might have 100, but not all the time. So I've broken down what I need for mini, mini savings and what I need for um, extended savings. So I'm going to add up this and then total it at this point. You know what? I have the total on my own thing. So hold on one second. Okay. This is a long process, but a fun process, but a long process sometimes because sometimes numbers do not add up the way you, you expect me to add up. I forgot to turn my light back on. Okay. So I totaled them all up. What I need, the total, the amount, 
I didn't how many bills I needed, but I've, I've totaled up the amount of money I need for each one of these. Um, I did it for this side and put the total at the bottom. I did it for this side, put the total on the bottom. And what I get my total here, I really should have, um, hold on. I want to kind of highlight this. That's what I have to take out the, out the account. It's $318 to put in my cash envelopes. So that is the end of my paycheck budget. I come back and visit me because I will be doing my cash dubbing from when I come back from the bank and put those in the envelopes. And thank you for staying by. Don't forget to like, comment, so, mm, how you say it, subscribe and hit the notification bell down there so that you know when my next video is. Honestly, as you guys will see, it's getting better. It's getting better. It may not be every week, but it's getting better. My goal is to make sure I get a few in a month. But being able to do this, I had to do this because I noticed that my, um, and I talk a lot. I told y'all I talk a lot, but I wanted to say this. I did this on camera. It forced me, doing it on camera forced me to do it because I forget my bills and what I need to pay and how the money is going, where the money is going. And sometimes I end up spending when I shouldn't be spending because I didn't look at this or do this. So I, the days, the months and the paycheck times that I do this, I'm on point with my budget and making sure everything's getting paid, making sure I have money that I can do things with my girls. And then the times that I don't do it, it doesn't work. So thank you for joining me. Come back and watch this journey as I get myself together. As I enter into my second half of life, I want to be able to be financially free I'd want to go into retirement without having to owe any bills at all, um, except maybe where I live, those normal electric bills. That's my goal. I'm praying that I get to that. Stick around and see if I do. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in our next video. Bye, angels. Mm -hmm.